You wanted it, and Aroma Cup has got it. It's the world's first exclusive review of the Keurig 2.0 K300 and 350 single serve coffee brewer here on aromacup.com. Hi everyone, I'm Brian with aromacup.com and thank you as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. First of all, let's talk about what is in the box with the K300 version 2.0 brewer by Keurig. Uh, pretty straightforward. You get the new Keurig Carafe, you get your instruction booklet, a sampler pack, and of course the K300 machine itself. What do you need to know about operations and accessories with the K300? The first thing that you're going to want to take a look at is going to be the new Carafe that is going to come with the K300. This is actually going to fit right at the bottom of the machine. In order to place it there, you're going to remove the drip tray. The carafe will allow you to use new K carafe packs, which are going to brew three to four cups, typically, of coffee uh, so that you can brew an entire carafe and have coffee for you and your friends. The machine features a black and white touchscreen which allows you to access the nine different brew sizes that you can brew with the K300 slash 350. Uh, also allows you to program the machine to brew other beverage types, hot cocos, teas, things like that. Uh, the brew head is a little bit different on this machine as it is from some of the other Keurigs that we've looked at, and that's because it is made to hold two different types of packs, as I said earlier, the K Carafe packs, and also the newly designed K Cup packs, uh, we'll have another video to talk more in depth about packs overall, but uh, this brew head is going to allow you to brew both of those types of packs. Brewing is very straightforward and easy to do. We're going to go ahead and brew a standard K-Cup pack today. Uh, I'm just going to place that into the machine. I'm going to use the same trick that we've always used here at Aroma Cup and puncture, pre-puncture that pack by pressing it down onto the needle, then close up the brew head. The brew head closes very smoothly on the machine, which I think is pretty cool. Now I can choose a brew size on the machine. It's gonna remember my last brew size and just press the brew button. And now the machine is simply gonna start brewing. It's quick and very fast to brew as just about any other Keurig machine that I have ever encountered. Definitely creates a cup of coffee nice and quick for you. And um, overall, very easy to use machine. Temperature test. Now, there is a high altitude option on the K300. We experimented with that because we are at actually a high altitude. You're supposed to enable that if you're over 5,000 feet. Our first cup that we brewed with the machine, um, after it's had a little bit of a warm up cycle and etc., came out at about 170 degrees. We then enabled the high altitude setting and brewed again, and I'm finding about 175 degrees on the second cup. So, Theoretically, it looks like the temperature will be affected a little bit if you enable the high altitude setting. You should really only enable that, honestly, obviously, if you are at a high altitude over 5,000 feet. Care of the machine is very simple. Once you've brewed, you can simply open the brew head and toss your now spent K-Cup pack. Uh, these are not recyclable. Now, the new K-Carafe packs are, and we'll talk about those in just a moment. Uh, the water tank is a 60 ounce water tank. A water filter is available for that uh, if you are interested in it. Let's talk about packs for the K300 because this is definitely one of the big differences in the version 2.0 Keurig single serve brewers. Now, as I said, you have these new packs available to you. The K Carafe packs, which allow you to brew a larger amount of coffee into the carafe that comes with your new version 2.0 machine. These look a lot like view packs, you're going to notice. But obviously they are much bigger, they are much deeper, and uh, these view packs, the old view packs, are not going to fit into your new version 2.0 brewer. They're just simply not going to work. Now the same is true for the differences between the new K-Cup pack and the old K-Cup pack. And uh, the difference here, I honestly don't see the major difference between these two. Both of them are labeled Keurig Brewed but Keurig has stated that some of the older packs will not work with the version 2.0 machine, and that's true. If you drop in, let's say, this Columbia Geisha pack that I have right here, the machine's gonna say, oops, you cannot use this. So that's also going to be true of packs such as those from Rogers Family Coffee 
and some other uh, K-Cup pack makers out there. So that's something to keep in mind. You're not going to be able to use a lot of the K-Cup packs that you've known with the version 2.0 machine. One final thing of note here is that the new K-Carafe packs are recyclable, much like the View packs were, um, but in a, that way that really kind of requires that you dismantle the pack in order to be able to recycle it. Price and where to buy on the K300, looking at about $149, not too bad to get into this new machine. I will definitely give it that. And where to get it, check out the link in the description of our video. Visit us on aromacup.com for great information on how to add this machine to your own at-home coffee shop. What is my bottom line on the new Keurig version 2.0 K300 slash 350 single serve brewer? I think that the price is quite good to be able to get into a single serve brewer. Keurig is obviously a very well-known, time-tested and true uh, player in the single serve coffee game. And uh, unfortunately, I think that you're maybe not going to save as much money as you might want to initially because there are no brew your own options for this machine at the making of this video and you're going to have to use the K-Cup packs and the K-Carafe packs that are specifically for this machine. You're not gonna be able to use any of the packs that you have from previous machines or anything like that. So where the savings will be is gonna kind of depend on how much coffee you drink, how much you might have in the waste, things like that. It's just something to keep in mind. Overall, cool machine, nice features, brewing quite well, making a good cup of coffee, and as always, because Keurig is really well known, I think they always make a good machine. It's up to you if this is the machine for your new at-home coffee shop. So there you have it, guys. That is the world's first exclusive review of the Keurig version 2.0 K300 and 350 single serve brewer from Keurig. If you have questions, comments, if I missed anything, please feel free to get in touch in the comments section of this video, or of course, visit us on aromacup.com. As always, guys, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. Enjoy your cup, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Hi, coffee lovers. I'm Brian with aromacup.com, and we're going to be giving you all the information that you need about the new Keurig version 2.0 single serve brewers. And that's gonna include reviews, overviews, recipes, and everything you need to know when you're gonna add one of these machines to your at-home coffee shop. So make sure to click the subscribe button and subscribe to us here at aromacup.com today.